Okay. We are back again. And, of course, as always, glad to be here on this fine Friday night or morning or afternoon, whatever time it may be for you. But glad you are here tuning in for another Cannabis Talk in this week's episode number 11. Number 11. Damn. It's crazy. But I'm glad to be doing this. Glad to keep this movement going. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We just got to keep this, keep this community going. Keep it strong. Just glad to be doing this anyway. Glad to be here educating you guys and just, you know, straight talking cannabis. That's, that's what we do. And this one today is, this one's pretty great. This is what actually keeps us all together, you know, is not just cannabis, but also video games. And, uh. I'll kind of be going into a little bit of, kind of be picking apart different pieces of this subject. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you would like to know, like, if there are any advantages or disadvantages to smoking or consuming cannabis and playing video games, and if your reaction time gets improved more, or or um, you're able to get through levels faster just because you think of things differently many many different factors just within that and um, I will also go into different strains that I have researched and from my own personal experience from what I think are good strains to play on and I think the last thing I'll go into will be pretty much yeah what are the best video games according to this high times article because I kind of wanted to go back into more in depth with uh, the 10 video games that they had picked because I had went through it. I'm not too sure if any of you have but um, They had a very interesting bunch. So uh, some of them I do agree with there are some games that I have never heard of before and um, Yeah, we'll kind of just go into it um, But yeah, so to start off if there are any advantages or disadvantages Really there hasn't been much research in it. Uh, I can tell you that with, as far as any actual research being done, as far as cannabis and video games go, there hasn't really been much. Uh, according to this article that I read uh, on prohibited.com, they're a cannabis culture site. They have news and a bunch of other, um, interesting topics on there and from what they have researched there has been a one-year test study conducted by Groningen if I'm pronouncing that right but it's a mental enhancement department in the Netherlands go figure and they discovered cannabis consumption while playing video games even casually can lead to increased memory retention with Alzheimer patients. While that's very specific to only one type, one group of people, it seems pretty promising for just people in general. I guess they had a video game that had different levels that increased in difficulty, and apparently 43% of the cannabis consuming individuals with Alzheimer's did better than the Group that didn't so while that's also only one test and, and one control group of individuals it shows promise and just within that article as well I kind of wanted to go more into what esports had thought about it and I probably should have covered that back in my previous cannabis talk cannabis and sports Apparently, in the esports world, cannabis is outlawed, but they do saliva testing. So now that also means that that I think those saliva tests are only like 24 hours. So what if you've consumed any type of 
drugs within 24 hours then they'll catch it or within 48 hours or whatever it is but it's in a very short time i know it's within less than a week so pretty much any esports gamer or esports professional whatever you want to call them they can consume really as much as they want just as long as they're not consuming at the esports tournaments then they're all good and they said verbatim mind you um let's see if i can find it because they literally said that it would provide an unfair advantage to individuals and that already right there proves that there's there i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like compare these two things but it's like it's like saying that it's a freaking gamer steroid. <laughs> well, um, in a way, you know, it does make playing video games a lot better. We all know that through our college days, especially through my college days, I can say that. But yeah, so I just found that very interesting. The fact that uh, even though the esports league is also integrated with the national anti-doping or the world anti-doping agency and they have to abide by their laws as well apparently like any other sport so given that it i can kind of see the reasons why but you know if they're just doing a saliva test why outlaw it completely you know if they cannot it's not like I, I wouldn't say it provides an unfair advantage, you know? I mean, yes, it does make you think you're playing better, and you probably are at some point, but from what I've also researched just within this article as well, um, if I can find it here, I will show you guys. I have it right here. Um, and I'll kind of, I'll make it, uh, I'll make it bigger as well. Oh, and there's a spider on my wall. But as you can see, these guys, and they, and I think this article motherboard is from Vice. So people from Vice, they, I guess, decided to do their own experiment on whether or not if playing stoned or playing high will make them better or you know which which plays better playing stone <laughs> i just said playing stoned or playing high okay that shows i'm high right now um playing stoned or playing sober and seeing which one will play better so as you can see here it doesn't show too much of a difference i mean literally these and I think I've been through this also one time because this article right here seems so familiar. Um, and I probably have, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to go back over things. Um, I just thought this was very interesting because there wasn't, and, I, and I'm sure I said this back in my other uh, talk as well, that I thought that there was like a huge difference, but really there's not too much of a difference at all. Uh, especially within these numbers right here yes some some played worse and some played better and i that's just like how it is for that's just how it is for cannabis in general that it's not going to be the same for everyone it's going to be it's going to be different that's just how it is it's how your body is and it's how your endocannabinoid system works it's going uh, while it may provide an advantage to some it may not provide an advantage to others so Given that the World Anti-Doping Agency had just legalized uh, CBD, um, maybe that might provide a change in the future for what holds uh, what holds the cannabis world in the sports world, anyway. But um, I can already tell you just from from these stats here that there isn't much of an advantage while it may get you more into the game that you're playing um it doesn't seem like uh 
it, there's no definite answer. It seems pretty average as far as the good and the bad. So playing stoned will really all be up to you. Now, obviously, if you've been a constant or a um, or if you've been a user of cannabis for a long period of time, then obviously you're going to be used to it. And then I'm sure if you're playing video games by that time, you've already been playing video games while stoned for years then, like I have. Um, and it just seems to be the norm. And in my own experience, there are times when I feel like, yeah, I do better, but at the same time, there are times when I feel like I do way worse. And that's just, I feel that's just how anything is nowadays. It's how you have off days when you play any sport, period. Doesn't matter whether it's basketball, football, or esports. You're going to have an off day. But, you know, with those stats right there, it, you know, it just provides more of a reason to normalize this and, um, you know, destroy the reefer madness stigma um now what uh i think the next thing that we were going to go into was was it the article um i appreciate the sentiment but I'm okay. shank you're here you remember what the second thing I was going to do? I remember I was going to go... It doesn't even matter. Um, I'll just talk about this anyway. So, uh, the next thing I'll be going into is the video games. The actual video games that um, High Times had suggested to be the best of 2019 uh, to play while, quote, high as hell. So we'll see, and we'll go down the list in... These are all, will be, of course, within my own opinion. But, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what um, the other stoners out there have to think of video games. And this is actually a pretty recent article, too. This was just two weeks ago. So, obviously, this is, they're talking about 2019. But, yeah. So, we'll go over to computer screen. We'll go through it together. Um... So, Kingdom Hearts 3. Granted that this game has not even been released yet. Uh, there's no saying how good it will be to, to play. But I can tell you, at least right now, I'll be picking up that game for sure. And, what is it? It comes out in like the 27th, so Sunday night. Right? I think it comes out, yeah. Oh, it comes out the 29th. So, it comes out really the 28th on Monday. Um, if you're picking it up, but yeah, so I'm super excited for this game. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. I've loved the, I haven't played all of the series, like the 1.5, the 2.5 and like the 2.8. Uh, I played the first one. Uh, I don't think I played all of the second one, but yeah, I'm definitely going to love kingdom hearts, kingdom hearts. I love I've been playing that since, yeah, since I was a little kid. And yeah, even even my brother, I was he was the reason why I actually started playing Kingdom Hearts was because of him, because I watched him play it. And I think that was more of a his generation game. He's eight years older than I am, so um, the concept of Kingdom Hearts definitely made more sense to him than it did to me back in the day. So while I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going, he's just blowing through levels and doing whatever he needs to do um like that you know but that just all comes with age hey don't think you can lurk me in secret and get away with it lurking you back dude <laughs> hey you know i always got you bro you know i always got you thank you a trails you the homie um but yeah we're going to the second game um, next one is Ape Out. I've never even heard of this game before, but apparently it's going to be on Nintendo Switch and Windows PC. Uh, 
It's going to be on Switch and PC on the 7th of February. Uh, have you ever felt just like a discouraged ape in a cage constantly prodded along and watched as you try to enjoy life? Well, then Ape Out may just be the escapist, ultra-violent experience you've been waiting for. Alright. Well, it sounds interesting. Yeah, of course, it's an indie game. You know, we gotta love them indie games. That's why we play them. Um, I don't know. Sounds interesting, though. We'll see. Doesn't seem like much yet, though. Which is why I'm surprised it made it on the High Times magazine. Uh, this game. Sinking City. I don't know why. See, they said Bioshock, too. And that's why it, like, got me thinking, is this going to be a Bioshock-related game? Because they're talking about HP Lovecraft. I did not even do any research about that person. Probably should have. But, um... But I, I think... I thought that because they were talking about Bioshock, the Sinking City was going to be you know, based off of that series. And I was like, oh, is this gonna be Rapture before it's Rapture and like before it goes under underwater? Uh, and I don't think so. I don't really do, you know, uh, like I don't really do too much research into any of these games. Just, I, I really I really just looked at the ones that I knew and I was like, yeah, there's a, that's the reason why. Um, but apparently it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be an open world game. Forces players to explore every nook and cranny. Uh, but this was kind of killing me right here. No map markers or instructions to follow. Players will have to use their own intuition to move the story along and free the town from its mysterious new presence. So you're telling me to go in blind? It's like playing hardcore. But hey, who knows? If it has the inspiration of Bioshock in it, then why not? It's my favorite game of all time, my favorite game series of all time. So, yeah, why not? Why not tune in? And of course, Super Smash Bros. had to be in there. It's just, it's just a given. Me and my friends all uh, smoke and play Super Smash Bros. And that's just, it is what it is. <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. All right. Well, let's see. There are so many amazing Star Wars games out there, but the truth is the fans of the franchise haven't been treated to an enjoyable title in quite a while. Fallen Order, a story set between episodes three and four, looks like a chance for the franchise to return to its video game glory. Even though details are sparse, the fact that it's direct that it's directed by Stig Asmussen, the lead of God of War 3. Oh, great. Now the game is lit. Already, already I want the game. The game will likely feature an epic character-driven plot. Take control of a young Padawan as the Jedi are on the run and being hunted by the Empire. With characters from various comics and television shows rumored to appear, this game looks like it's steeped in the franchise's lore as it tells a new, dark story. With hype around multiplayer only games still building, fans of adventure driven single player games can rest easy knowing that Fallen Order will forego online matchmaking for a unique solo experience. It'll be available quarter four. I love that. I love re release dates like that. Like how they said the Oculus, the Oculus Quest was going to be released quarter one, and still yet I I don't even know if they have an actual release date for that. Um. But next one is At the Gate. Still have never heard of this game, but it's uh, like Civilization, which. I've seen so many people play, but I've never like actually understood what the game is about. Obviously, it's about s building your own civilization, but like how to play the game, what the mechanics are, that was like the one thing that escaped me. Um, 
Red Dead, of course, had to be in there. And I mean, speaking of Red Dead and and Rockstar games, um, just games in general, actually, you can. It actually amazed me the fact that of how much cannabis and video games go so much together that they have even put them in video games. I mean, in GTA 5, you can smoke bong and you can smoke a joint. Like, already right there. What, what better combo? And apparently you could smoke weed in Far Cry 3 and in Saints Row 1 and 2. So, and I'm sure there's many other games out there where they've incorporated cannabis, so. Do they go hand in hand? I don't know. <laughs> but yes, Red Dead. This game is freaking amazing. Fucking love this game, yo. Still gonna complete it, still doing it every Sunday. So if any of you out there are actually watching and lurking and whatever, I'm gonna be playing it every Sunday until I beat the damn campaign, because it'll take me a while. But we gonna do it, we gonna do it. Um, Jump Force. Now, I no lie, just because it has, um, forgive me, I don't know the guy from One Piece's name, but I mean, it has Naruto and Goku. Sounds like a pretty sick game to me. And if they're gonna mash up all in my, and yeah, people from My Hero Academia. Like, hey, this game looks sick already. Three on three fighting game with Yugi. That's lit. Yu-Gi-Oh was like, I had my first dog was named Yugi, all right? So that should already give you an idea of how much Yu-Gi-Oh! was in my life as a kid. But February 15th, I'll be ready. Jump Force. You may see me playing that game pretty soon. Crackdown. All right. No lie, I have not played Crackdown at all. Just letting you know. I've never played a single Crackdown. Rock'em Sock'em! Ooh! <laughs> Yo, what's good, man? What is good with you? I hope your day is going well, dude. Hope your day is going well. Glad to have you here, bro. You know you the homie. Haven't seen you in a while, dude. But I hope you're, yeah, I hope you've been good. But yeah, Crackdown, I have not played. Hopefully it's a good game. Maybe we'll see if they have like a beta or something or someone is giving out codes or whatever maybe we'll try and play um but yeah i was reading this too it was originally set for 2016 and then was pushed back to 2017 and then 2018 and then now we'll see if it even gets released this year so not 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 putting too much focus onto this um but this one i was dying when I seen this. I was like, really? You're gonna have Bus Simulator as one of your top games of 2019. Now, I get it. You're playing high as hell, but come on now. You're driving a bus. You're driving a bus. I mean, come on. <laughs> really? But, you know, for some people, that may be fun. And I guarantee you, there are probably some people out there that are streaming it right now. And just reach a thousand views. So thank you guys all so much for that. Have a little celebration for that. And no lie, um, I have been thinking about doing a giveaway because I know there's been a lot of hype around this Final Mouse from Ninja. And I was able to get my hands on one of them and here show you guys be right back oh 
didn't even need to go anywhere. Oh. I'm gonna follow. Who's that follow from? Sep. Sempiternal. Sempiternal 1996. Thank you. Much, much appreciated for the follow, man. Glad to have you here. And I know it's probably, it's not going to pop up for a little while. Um, but yeah, thank you. M much appreciated for the follow. And glad to have you here, man. Glad to have you here supporting the movement. Um, but yeah, here, I'll show you guys what this, um, yeah, so I got the, the Ninja Air 58 Final Mouse. I know there's been hella hype around it. Um, oh, hi up. Have it. Thank you for the alert. Missy. Always, always glad to have your support. Look, I'll show you guys this thing. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Um, you can barely see it because it's like... Um... Is there like a way to like stop the glare? Oh, hey, you, you guys can kind of see it. But yeah, and it has apparently on the scroll wheel here, it's a haiku that's different for each one. So add a little flair to it. Now, me, I'm not too big of a ninja fan, but I don't hate on the dude. Hey, ninja, ninja made Fortnite what it is and Twitch what it is, you know. So I thank him for that. And he's I'm sure no lie, probably one of my inspirations for doing this as well. And just seeing the community that he makes. But um, you know, wanted to I was buy I I was buying this with intentions to just sell it right away. And um I wasn't really I wasn't really too interested in it. Uh, but I know people were going crazy off of this thing. There was so much hype on this, yo. I can't even tell you how much, like, just to, cause like, I, I remember looking at the line in the YouTube video and seeing how many people were lined out the door and lined down the block for this. But I think I may do a giveaway for this just to show my love for my community. Now, I don't know when there will be some requirements, probably like, 25 subs or something like that or 50 subs or something but yeah this is gonna be this is gonna go to you guys I, I think I've made that decision now um, but yeah I mean it's worth like 90 bucks but I'm sure because it's now sold out and you can't buy it anywhere now that um, it's probably worth a little bit more but yeah we'll see we'll see um, because, yeah, I've been looking for, I'll sub 25. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> and remember, it's 25, it's 25 subs. It Like once I hit 25 subs, then I'll do the giveaway for it, which you will have to enter for yada, yada, yada. I can't just get those 25 subs like that, Rock'em Sock'em, don't worry, bro. <laughs> But your support is always appreciated, man. That's why you here, and that's why you a mod. That's why you the homie. 50. Bro, <laughs> no, stop. Um, but, all that aside, going back into it, because I want to finish this cannabis talk before I get into anything else. I probably should have said that more close to the end, but who cares? But, um, yeah, so Bus Simulator, like I said, have not played it, but, and don't really have any real intentions in playing it. If they're, if it's free, maybe I will just for, just for shits and gigs. And by the way, Semp Eternal, I work with TZ. He told me to stop by and check it out. Yo, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for just coming by, period. Uh, didn't even have to follow, but you did. So, you the homie, man. You the homie. 
and glad to have you here and hope you hope you are enjoying the content too um i know you already gave the follow but yeah um maybe that was just to show some support because tz supports me but uh, either, but by the way tz what's good bro glad to have you here as well um but yeah again sem eternal thank you very much much appreciated and can't see thank you for the support man thank you for telling people about the channel and supporting the movement you know your support's always appreciated i'm and you know i'm, I'm always always uh be there to lurk in on your stream even though i may not say anything i'm definitely there bro you just you just look at that little view thing or whatever the viewer whatever thingy you know what i'm talking about i'm there i'm there and alpha always glad to have your support as well thank you for the lurk my man Fucking love you. Um, Fucking love all my fam, yo. Oh, and that was it? Okay, well, that was it. Well, no wonder they ended it off that one because I was like, why did they... Why? Like, wh what? Bus simulator? People don't know what they're talking about. Um, well, huh? I guess that was already, like, at the end then, pretty much. But, yeah, big things coming for the channel. As you guys can see, if you guys want to, if you guys scroll down, have like some new panels and stuff like that. So, we're going to have, we're, and that color scheme is going to be, a, it's going to be a reoccurring theme. So, you'll see that. The city will also be another reoccurring theme. So, you'll, you'll see that in the logo, which is coming very soon. And, um. And yeah, there's a lot of things coming. There's a lot of things coming. So you guys be ready. Uh, I'm, I have a lot of things planned for the channel. And I just hope that, you know, things things really take off. Because um, really, like I said, I'm here to support, support this cannabis movement and support you guys as well. Um, I, love the, I love just to see how much, how many friends and how many connections I've made just within the many communities and just from being on Twitch in general has um, has gotten me. And yeah, so while you guys show me the support, I wanna show the support back. That's why I wanna do these giveaways. I wanna do more community interactions. I wanna be, I wanna eventually have these talks where it's like, I'm, no, I'm not only lecturing you guys, I'm actually having a conversation with you. Um, well, I do thank all of you for being here and um, showing your support and lurking. Um, yeah, there are big things coming. So I hope y'all are ready. I hope y'all are ready. Um, but yeah, well, well, they have some more stuff down here from perfect video games for every stony scenario, stoner games you can enjoy with your crew. Well, that's pretty much all of these games right here. I uh, know I'm actually kind of excited for um, this game right here. Star Wars Jedi. This is a game that I haven't even heard of before, but it might be interesting to play. I'm ready for some Haney merch. Hey, me too, bruh. Me too. And I'm trying to, if there's, if Haney merch would be on the way, then I'm trying to make it, you know, at least affordable. Because I tried going through Streamlabs one time just to just to see you know what the cost would be to you guys and they said it'd be like $65 for a sweatshirt that's not including the shipping or the tax and that's pretty much actually what I paid already for one of one of uh, my cousin's shirts because that's the only way that she was able to get it made so well that sucks I'm definitely going to be finding a different alternative so I can I can definitely tell you guys even though it may take more time to find an actual like print person after I do the logo and stuff like that and um, I'm gonna make this shit affordable as much as I can you know but regardless I'm not here for the merch I'm here to educate you guys I'm here for you guys and because you guys are what fuel me to do this every week and I'm glad to have you all here every time. And I mean, the fact that there's 14 people here even lurking is already... Lur lurking, talking, who cares? There's 14 people in here right now. And that's 
more than double what I had last week. Regardless, it may be for OMC TV, but at the same time, I mean, I didn't have, we didn't have OMC TV before. And now that we do, it just shows who's really there actually supporting. So, yeah. And it, all gives, and it gives everybody a chance to support even when they, when they really can't actually be there. So, shout out again to the OMC fam for making OMC TV. This thing is the shit. Fucking love it. I'm glad I get to have a way for me to watch all of my fam and not tax my t tax my computer. While my computer is a pretty decent one uh, as far as gaming goes, um, thing gets pretty hot. So, yeah, shouts out to them for sure. And um, so I guess we will. I guess we'll bring at least the cannabis talk to a close. And yeah. So we'll bring the cannabis talk to a close. I want to thank you guys all for being here. I will be continuing on later. Um, even after this, it's not, I don't think the stream will end right here, right here. Um, but yeah, if there's anyone else here that wants to chat, they're more than welcome to. But just so. I can easily chop this up and put it on YouTube. I'm gonna put the stream ending thing on there uh, for like a few seconds and then, yeah, we'll just do that. So, yeah. Deuces. Okay. But yeah, like you said, bro, I'm ready for that mini merch, man. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for many, the mini madness to be everywhere, yo. I'm ready for the mini madness, which is going to replace reefer madness. Cause instead of being scared of it, we all gonna normalize it and embrace it because it's here and it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. It's only getting bigger now, honestly. Um, see, I wonder how this OMC TV thing works now. Because if I try and raid someone, then it really won't even be 13 people, though. But looks like everybody's playing Fortnite. Everyone from the OMC fam is all playing Fortnite. Oh wow, that's kind of crazy, and I can see myself on uh, my own <laughs> on my own Lurk TV. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, yeah, y'all got some crazy things in the works. Got some crazy things. I really hope got some many things, y'all. Freaking many things. Yeah, I cannot wait to see what is in store. Cause I, cause once, once we get the logo done, we get the rest of the pan. Well, once we get the rest of those panels finished, we get the logo done. Then we gonna have overlays, transitions, and the Go XLR has a release date now, February 11th. So now that I finally got some, now I finally got my checks today, which reminds me, I need to go buy my excision ticket. Any of you guys are dubstep fans, excision is the shit and if you guys ever want to go see a nice uh edm dubstep concert excision is going to be the best for hands down but but yeah so i think i mean we can't really raid anyone i mean if we can that'd be that'd still be sick and no lie, my dude Kronos kind of deserves it because he's kind of the homie too. Oh, you know what? I rated Chromo Kronos already. I did rate Kronos. Maybe Galley? Galley Gaming? 
Thermic? Basil? Playing Call of Duty. Should we stay on the Fortnite topic? Do a, do a pop up cup. No lie, I've never been on Thermic Basil's um, stream before. Well, who cares? You know what? We'll rate him. We'll, we'll rate him. Cause we're gonna show our love to anybody, everyone. That's what we do. We show our love to everybody. Everybody is here. Hysteria. That's what, that's what we should rate? Okay. Send me the, uh, hey, you have a good night too, Rock'em. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, and if, yeah, um, yeah, we should talk through, what is it? Through, like, Twitter or whatever. Yeah, see how you're doing, man. Um, hist if Hysteria is a, is a streamer, send me the, uh, send me the link or whatever, what, whatever her, uh, her, or his username is is and then we can we can we can rate him might as well take advantage of the 11 people that's here and use that and use that love and show it somewhere else it's just hysteria oh okay let's do backslash read oh crap Read S T E R I A Hysteria. All right, we got rating Hysteria. We got six viewers in here. It's good. It's good. All right, let's get it. Six viewers. Let's go. It's on the many madness. Let's go, y'all. We out this B. Yee.